Welcome to the weather forecast for the week beginning Wednesday, November 16th, 2022. I'm Chief Meteorologist John Ensworth for Longmont Public Media. And as I'm recording this early Thursday morning, the snow is already beginning. So our next lunar phase is the new moon on Wednesday the 23rd next week. The sun, all the sunspots have rotated pretty much out of view. And nothing, well, maybe one's coming around the other side. But right now the face of the sun towards the earth is pretty blank. Looking at drought conditions before we get to our snowstorm here, uh, you can see that things are getting a little worse out on the eastern plains and a little better in the northwest part of the state. This storm, though, is going to bring some good snow. It's going to be very local to the Front Range and Denver area and uh, not a lot of moisture. It's going to be so cold it'll be fluffy snow, but not a lot of actual water. Looking nationally, uh, things a little bit of relief here, a little uh, worse in spots in the west and mountains and yeah not much to change most of the nation is having some level of um, uh, drought conditions so just about the northeast here is and the Great Lakes are kind of okay <coughs> looking at snow keeping an eye on the snowpack we started with very little snow as normal but it was a little above normal now we've kind of gone back to the normal mark it's a nice start. Might as well get some more here. We did get a bit of a surprise storm um, Monday into Tuesday morning. Places around Longmont got three and a half, two inches. Uh, Boulder saw spots up to around four. I think there's a four and a half, 4.7 in there. Uh, Denver got snow a little bit later in the morning, kind of messed up the commute. When you look at the amount of uh, liquid though from the snow, uh, not much last seven days it's very quiet as thunderstorms go as well or nothing at all Wednesday or Thursday and Friday maybe you'll have some thunder snow up here with lake effect uh, precipitation looking nationally you see snow coming down with the cold front on Wednesday the cold front pushes across the state and how the north East two-thirds of Colorado can get some snow. Not much of west of the divide. It's, this is an eastern uh, Colorado st storm more than anything else. And for Friday, the snow finally tapers off uh, kind of mid-morning, early morning. But uh, I'll go back real quick. We got really uh, deep cold going all the way down the back front, almost to the coast in California and the south and the east. So this is a huge dome of cold air. I'm looking at uh, smoke, nothing really to report there either. High temperatures are expected to go from 51 to 45. We are starting out, as you can see here, way below normal uh, with highs only in the low 20s for a couple days. Our normal low is 24 going down to 20. So really rapid decline in the normals uh, this time of year. Here's our about day, day and a half of precipitation. The cold air is visible as this big, huge semi-circle coming out of the north. And that's just continue to sneak down this little subtropical jet stream being pushed aside. So notable uh, features. This is what it is create the snow. It's not as strong of a trough. It's kind of laying out the side. It's just an interesting configuration. And the snow is going to be very local. You go out on the plains or go to the other side of the Rockies, and you're not going to see much, but it's just going to sit over the Front Range, Denver, to Fort Collins, especially Fort Collins, and uh, give us stuff. Next week, we get a system like this next Wednesday that looks pretty substantial. Um, but it's very dry. It's not much moisture associated with it. So we'll see, we'll see that, well, if that changes and gives us some fun. Uh, the coldest temperatures are Friday noon, 25 degrees below, 26 degrees below normal. Is it 28 below normal? Very cold. So let's put this in motion. Here comes the trough that's giving us a couple days of upslope orographically or mountain elevation uh, induced snow. 
then a ridge is trying to push into the west for the beginning of next week and then sort of zonal flow the jet stream is going west to east here comes that ripple that comes in it <laughs> look it looks really impressive but uh, right now there's nothing big happening here maybe some severe weather in south texas or something like that and we've just sailed past thanksgiving but thanksgiving looks okay right now there is the cold look at all the below normal purples and blues over the entire nation all the way south texas down into florida only south florida is not <coughs> there's a little patch of down slope and then yeah trying to warm up in the west it's tuesday next week Wednesday coming up on Thanksgiving. There's another shot of cold coming down through the Great Lakes, but not in the west. So it should be for Thanksgiving pretty close to normal. Looking at precipitation, this is the storm, but notice how it just kind of parks and pivots for about two or three, maybe four, six hour periods. Yeah, and then it's gone. And here's the weekend on Sunday into Monday high and dry still. Interesting stuff happening in the Gulf. But here comes Thanksgiving. There's a snow in Utah, snow in southern Colorado, and then there's our severe weather chances. Texas, Louisiana with that system wrapping up down there. The next two days, got some snow in the north. Here's our Longmont location, kind of in the heavier area of snow, north and west of Denver up to Fort Collins up to Red Feather Lakes and Estes Park and this is from the weather 5280 oh, it wrapped around 5280 uh, forecast with the heavier amounts here four to six inches uh, including Longmont and places along the interstate maybe two to four I'm calling for uh, three to six and locally eight uh, most locations maybe up to ten in a few spots around Boulder much less on the south side of Denver. This is a northern Colorado storm. Bring in the next 10 days and a little more precipitation statewide, but really even that doesn't look very different. So Wednesday we just about hit 50, and we have two days in the mid to low 20s, single digits at night, really good chance of snow Thursday all day into the night, and then tapering off in the morning on Friday. We go a little while to warm up it's only about 40 and 46 for the weekend we start to see 50s again right before thanksgiving so stay warm out there uh, if you want local news and frequent up weather updates check out longmont leader and broomfield leader this has been chief meteorologist john Innsworth. keep looking up